Governor Paul LePage not going to Tampa. He thinks that all 20 of the contested Ron Paul delegates should be seated on Monday, so he's essentially boycotting the convention. In the third contest from Maine, the Credentials Committee adopted the Republican National Committee's recommendation to seat an alternative delegation. The question on the motion offered by the delegate from Kentucky, all those in favor will signify by saying aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chairs, the ayes have it and the motion is agreed to. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Yesterday, the RNC chose to remove the entire main delegation from being able to be seated as a part of that. Do you believe that that is the right step for the RNC to have taken, considering the fact that these people were elected, they were Republicans who were elected by Republicans to go and represent the state of Maine? You know, I haven't uh, seen the uh, the inner politics of what's going on, and I'm not going to comment on the RNC's decision. I, I really haven't looked at this. Really? So Governor Romney claims he wasn't aware of his own campaign, having an entire state of delegates stripped of their credentials? Hard to believe when it was his campaign that led the challenge of these delegates. But then again, Governor Romney also claims to not have realized that his chief legal counsel just pushed through what many top GOP leaders are calling the biggest GOP power grab in the party's history. The question is on the adoption of the resolution. All those in favor signify by saying aye. All those opposed, no. Any other chair, the ayes have it. The resolution is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. So, the most controversial rule in the Republican Party history, according to countless conservatives, wasn't voted through at all. It was scripted. Despite the shouts of what at least half the room of delegates appeared to have been voting, Boehner just read along with the script. I liked, for example, the fact they did that yay and nay vote where they said the yays have it. I thought that was great. Even though we lost it, I thought it was great because the media was shocked. <laughs> We've been trying to tell them this goes on at the caucus level, at the district conventions, at the state conventions. <laughs> this is what we've experienced all the way, and they didn't know. So when they saw it themselves, they were a bit astonished. Some of them gasped. Well, that's how the party is being run. And now it'll be run by 10 fat men who will sit in a room. I say that joking, but I know all of them and they are overweight. 10 <laughs> fat men will sit in a room and they'll pick who the delegates are. Among other things, Republican officials clearly snubbed Texas Congressman Ron Paul by refusing to read aloud his vote totals from the podium. Iowa casts 22 votes for Ron Paul. And, and six votes for Mitt Romney. Iowa, six. Romney. I was pretty shocked to hear that they wouldn't even read from the podium how many votes Congressman Paul got. Well, one of the interesting things was the crowd was reciting how many he got, so when they wouldn't announce it from the podium, you would hear an echo from the crowd of the Ron Paul supporters who were announcing his Why totals. Why didn't they do that? This seems so petty and so ridiculous. I mean, your father worked hard in the Republican Party. He went through all the rules. I believe he didn't do anything illegal right. in getting those votes. He went through the process. He worked hard. He's not a young guy. And they wouldn't even give him the courtesy to acknowledge how many votes he got. Minnesota, where we are very proud of our state Republican Party, which runs a fair convention with integrity. Casts 33 votes for Ron Paul. One vote, one vote for Senator Rick Santorum, and six votes for Governor Romney. Minnesota, six, Romney. Your dad's retiring from Congress. He's not going to run anymore. And he has said this is the last time he's running for president 
of the United States. I just thought it was inappropriate to end his political career, if you will, on a note like this before his own party. Six states nominated the champion of the Constitution, Congressman Ron Paul, for president of the United States. Iowa, Minnesota, Alaska, Virgin Islands, Oregon, and Nevada. In the spirit of freedom that inspired the founding of our country, and in honor of the liberty that has made the United States the greatest country on earth, we proudly cast 17 votes for Congressman Ron Paul, five abstentions, and five for Romney. Nevada, five, Romney. The way that they treated Ron Paul and his supporters in this campaign yeah, was don't even get me nothing started, next yeah. to appalling. Uh, he didn't get to uh, address them. They put in their plank ways that made it harder for his delegates to continue to express those kinds of insurgencies. What, what the Republican National Committee did to Ron Paul was the height of rudeness and stupidity. Why would you alienate them? Get on the floor and not let them speak. Not have his name go up on the board to see the so numbers of electoral me. votes that he received. Why? Is, what would because they're, they're afraid of that which they cannot control. They cannot control right. him. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Romney. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Romney. Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Romney. Ron Paul. Paul. Romney. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Romney. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Dr. Ron Paul. Romney. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Congressman Ron Paul. Romney. Ron Paul. Congressman Ron Paul. Romney. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Romney. When the only owners of the party are 10 men who will decide in the future who else they will allow into the party, if that's what you've got left, okay, these 10 men have got to go hand out leaflets all over the United States of America and put door hangers on the doorknob. You've destroyed your own army. It's kind of, kind of ridiculous. And now it'll be run by Ten fat men who will sit in a room, I say that joking, but I know all of them and they are overweight. You are destroying the infrastructure of your party. I've been a part of seven presidential campaigns and the ones who won were very generous and very inclusive of people, uh, especially in, in victory, you should be generous, not petty, not mean, uh, not punishing. That's kind of stupid. question is on the adoption of the resolution. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table.